For instance, why does a dentist often have to adjust restorations excessively? Uh, and there's a lot of possible answers to that question. Uh, one might be a, a poor occlusal scheme that was created by the technician. Probably that's not uh, a, a typical answer because most technicians do have a basic knowledge of how teeth come together and what they want to achieve uh, on the occlusion. Uh, another one might be a bad bite registration by the dentist. Uh, that could be a reason, although if it looks bad to the technician, often they remount the case anyway. So that might not be the, the most uh, honest answer. A uh, third one might be wrong materials that led to some coefficient of expansion or something like that. And I don't think that happens very often because there's good control today of the materials that we utilize. Uh, maybe it's just a question that somebody's looking to blame somebody. Uh, that's frequently uh, a good answer. It might be that somebody used the wrong articulator. Uh, I don't know that that's really a, a, a valuable answer. Um, how about the moon phase? Uh, and you can see where I'm going with this. Uh, maybe the tooth in question just moved or popped up. Uh, that's probably not a reasonable answer because uh, the tooth has been uh, put to cover with, a, with some sort of a provisional. And if the restoration fit, then the occlusion really should be in proper order. Uh, maybe none of the above are good answers. Uh, I've come to believe that most likely it was a problem of condylar seating after the provisionals were made with less incline interferences that existed before. And therefore, muscles started to relax and allowed condyles to seat. 